everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coco and I do beauty, homeware, lifestyle videos and um, just kind of a bit of everything on this channel. If you're into things like that, I would love it if you could subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Today I am doing a project pan. Now, years ago when I started YouTube, I was quite a panner, a project panner in the YouTube community and I used to do loads of videos on project pans because I absolutely love doing them. Um, I haven't done one in ages and I've actually privated all those videos because when I look back the lighting and the quality is just, it's not good. So I today have decided to do a project pan. I'm going to make this one quite an easy one because I've not done it in a while and kind of get myself into it. And then I'm going to see what other pr project pans are going around YouTube at the moment and hopefully join into some of them. If you don't know what a project pan is, it's basically you pick some products from your makeup and skincare collection and you make your way through them and you want to get rid of the product because they've been in your collection for a long time or maybe you're not the biggest fan of it and then you document it on videos, on your progress every couple of weeks, on how you're getting through the product and you kind of talk about how you're finding the product as well. So today I'm going to be doing one, I'm doing this as like a finish five by New Year's Eve because these are products that I want to get rid of out of my makeup collection, I've had them for a while and I would like them gone by the end of the year. So the first product that I want to pan is this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So everyone's heard of this product before. It's great for applying after your makeup or applying to glitters to make them kind of pop a little bit more. I like this product. I don't like spraying it on my face after makeup. I see so many YouTubers do that after their makeup but I find it comes out like spatters so there's always little parts on my face that are like kind of like dots, like raindrops almost. Um, so I like to use this before I apply makeup and I sometimes when I'm lazy I use this to wet my beauty blender which isn't the best um, but as you can see I'm really far down on this product and I've kind of put a little line here just so I can show you my progress over the next couple of weeks and um, I think this is going to be very easy to use up because I've hardly got any left. I like to get most of my non cruelty free products out of my makeup collection and um, so I do have quite a lot of MAC products that I want to get rid of. The next product is another MAC product. This is the Painterly Paint Pot. Everyone used to go mental for this. Um, as you can see mine is nearly done but there's still quite a lot around the edges. Um, I am working my way through this. This is what I use for an eyeshadow base. Um, I used to absolutely swear by this. Um, I thought it was the best thing since sliced bread for priming your eyes, but now I find it a bit drying. It might be because the product's a little bit old now. It's just over a year old that I've had this for. Um, and I have really made my way through it, but I would like to get rid of it. So yeah, this is how much I have left. Um, it's still got a lot around the edges and you don't need a lot to use for priming your eyelids, especially when you've got eyelids like mine, which are absolutely tiny and hooded and the bane of my life. So I would like to get this out of my collection. The next product that I've got to pan is this Lottie London Got It Covered Concealers. So I put a little line here um, on the white part. That is how much I have left. So I still have quite a lot of this product left. I do like this concealer. Um, I used to absolutely love it and I used it all the time um, and I was actually planning on repurchasing it but I've not used it in a while and I've put it on today and I actually think it's done quite a good job of concealing my under eyes. Um, so I'm going to just keep using it and I'll let you know how I feel about it as I use it up um, but I've just had this for a wee while now and I would like to get rid of it. It is cruelty free and um, it kind of comes with a sponge applicator. I'm not going to show you because it's an absolute mess at the moment. I need to definitely clean it. Um, but you know that's the same, that happens with like uh, sponge applicators because they just kind of get all grimy and then it really worries me about like bacteria so I usually just kind of pop it onto the back of my hand and then apply it with my fingers or with a brush. So yes, that's the Lottie London Concealer and I'm hoping to pan this by New Year's Eve. The next product is this MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Matte Pressed Powder. So as you can see, I've already hit pan on this, but I would really like to uh, finish this product by the end of the year. Um, so I've got a really nice healthy bit of pan going on here. Um, and as you can see, there's still quite a lot around the edges and kind of near the middle. I am hoping to get this panned by New Year's Eve, but I don't know, like powders can be a bit tricky sometimes. Sometimes you can get through them really fast and other times you just need a little bit. This is like a full coverage powder, so it adds almost a layer of coverage and which can be great in sometimes, but it also can be a little bit cakey. So I'd quite like to get rid of this. I would like to get the naked 
skin powder I can't remember what it's called but it's from Urban Decay and I can't justify getting that until I've got rid of some of my prep powders so um, this is one to pan and I'm hoping that I can get rid of it by the end of the year the last product that I want to pan is this mini Becca opal highlighter I got this a while ago it was like 10 pounds on cult beauty I wanted to try out the mini before buying the full size and um, this is how much I've got left again I've hit pan on it um, but I do have a lot around the sides. You know what it's like with highlighters. They can take a good while to go down and finish. This is a really beautiful highlighter. I give it that. Um, it's gorgeous. I don't know if I'll purchase the full one. I'm kind of going to see what my thoughts are at the end of the year once I've finished it. Um, I have used this on my cheeks today. And as you can see, I do have a, quite a nice glisten. It's not in your face type of highlighter it's more of a very natural subtle glow and that's what I like in a highlighter on an everyday basis on a night out I would much prefer like an Ofra highlighter that's just blinging to the just to the gods and um, this is more of an everyday one so this is going to be great to use up because I'll be using this every day that I wear makeup um, so yeah so I'm excited to see how I get on with this so that is all the products for my finished five by New Year's Eve thank you so much for watching um, I'm excited to kind of join the panning community again and if you're a project panner then please let me know in the comments down below so I can follow you and I can follow your project pans and um, yes if this is a video that you've never heard of before then here you go, this is what project panning is like. I will give you reviews every couple of weeks when I do updates and let you know how I'm finding the products. I think I'm also gonna be doing a project pan for Valentine's Day, maybe about finish seven or eight products by then. So I'll have that in the next couple of weeks. It gives me longer, so I'm going to use products that have a little bit more left in them and see if I can get them done by Valentine's Day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.